This week on Encore TV, taking on new construction and new challenges. Teaching is not easy. <laughs> It's sometimes difficult to get through some of the lesson plans. Find out how one Encore employee is building a stronger connection between work and family. But first, CEO Alan Nye is here with an update. While we continue to get through this pandemic by working together one day at a time, I want you to know that Encore is also making plans to ensure we stay prepared for the potential long-term impacts of COVID-19. We don't yet know how long a full recovery will take, but we do know that the work that we do for our customers and our communities remains essential. No one in our industry takes that responsibility more seriously than we do, and I thank you for your continued dedication. You should also be confident that the essential nature of our work brings a unique level of job security in uncertain times. Now here's Don to talk more about how the company has uniquely positioned itself to whether any hardships our economy as a whole may face in the weeks and the months that follow the end of the health crisis. Thanks, Alan. You're absolutely right when you say we are uniquely positioned economically. Let me explain why that's the case. In March, we started a project to ensure the company had enough cash and liquidity on hand to survive the potential financial crisis that might result from this pandemic. I'm happy to report that the planning and the swift action we took weeks ago paid off. We have increased our cash and liquidity to cover all planned operating and construction expenses for at least the next 12 months. In fact, in March, when uncertainty in the credit and capital markets was at one of its highest points, we moved up our regularly scheduled plans to issue $800 million of bonds to support our operations. That was an impressive show of confidence that investors were willing to buy Encore bonds during those volatile times. It's also a testament to all of you and all of the great work that you do every day that our investors view our company as such a strong investment. Our investors understand Encore as well as anyone. They know the nation's economy will reopen fully at some point. People will go back to work and the Texas will still be among the nation's leaders in both population and job growth and a well-run, fiscally responsible, and operationally sound company like Encore is a good bet in any economy. Thank you, always, for all that you do to keep our company growing and thriving. Jen Myers here with a look at your three-day weather current forecast. Starting with Wichita Falls, we'll be in the 70s both Monday and Tuesday with a chance for rain. Wednesday, we finally clear out and dry out with a high of 87. Chances for rain in Dallas-Fort Worth both Monday and Tuesday. We'll see highs around 80 degrees. Then we'll clear out the rain chances by Wednesday with a high around 84. Tyler, you also get a chance for rain Monday night into Tuesday. We'll see those highs in the upper 70s to the low 80s on Tuesday and then mid 80s by Wednesday. Round Rock's forecast, similar to Tyler, DFW, and Wichita Falls, you have that chance for rain Monday night into Tuesday. Highs will be in the low, mid, and upper 80s. And Midland, you only have one shot at rain. That's Monday, Monday evening, and maybe early, early Tuesday morning. It's all kind of one chance there with one round of storms that'll move through. But you'll see those highs in the 80s and then low 90s by the time we clear out on Tuesday all the way through midweek. Be sure to like and follow Encore on Facebook. There will be updates on any storms that develop and get your weekend forecast posted every Friday. We'll be back after a short message, but first, Designer Stan Hewlin is here with more home office advice. Hello home office friends, Stan Hewlin here again with some more tips about making your office your happy place. Since you'll be spending a lot of time in your home office, make the decor purposely cheerful but not full of stuff. Choose a happy spot in your home, preferably not the garage because garages can be very depressing, unless that's the quietest spot. Facing a window is great so you can enjoy the benefits of sunlight. If that's too distracting, just face away from the window and hang your favorite poster or framed print over your desk. Also, being near a window tells you when it's getting dark outside and time to start thinking about quitting for the day. If it helps you work, listen to your own quarantine playlists of music that you can quickly mute if the phone rings. Change up your playlist often to keep your brain fresh. And finally, set your phone alarm for quitting time. That'll keep you from forgetting to quit and working on until bedtime. 
innovation doesn't have an off switch. It's up with the sunrise, steadfast through the night, chases bigger, better, smarter, and connects 10 million hearts and minds as big as Texas. At Encore, we empower modern life. Raquel Di Maria, you might remember me from an earlier video. Today we're going to talk about what it's like working from home in this new environment. I know that today we would kind of present our findings. It has gotten a lot easier. The first two weeks were definitely chaotic. Um, I had to run up to the office to pick up monitors and that really helped after having my monitors. Having the big monitors allows me to see uh, the construction prints in detail. So I'm still able to work through all my projects. I'm still able to go to job sites. And when I do go to job sites, of course, if I'm meeting a customer or someone else from Encore, we still pra we're practicing safe distance of six feet apart. So on site, I am still wearing my customary steel toe boots, my Encore vest, and my glasses, hard hat. But I am also wearing a mask. The biggest disadvantage for a new construction manager working from home would be that people interaction. Working from home, um, I definitely have to coordinate times with my peers to see when they're available to review a project. The advantage is that I'm not having to drive into the office back and forth, so that saves me time at the beginning and at the end of the day that I can use to just start working from home. I am the full-time teacher at home. <laughs> My husband does not teach, but he is also taking over kitchen responsibilities. This is Sienna. She watches the teacher videos, and then what I do in the morning is I print out all the paperwork that she might need. The, the one piece of advice I would give to other parents working from home is just to have patience. It's, it's new for the kids, too. Um, allotting a specific time for them to give them one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's really helpful. That is all we have time for this week. Keep checking the intranet and our PowerHub app for more updates. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.